Podcast. people to the killer cooler cage match this is the thermal thunder dome we're going to test all of these coolers for ice retention we're going to check out all their features and we're going to beat them up we're going to see which ones can survive life in the real world sure if you leave a super cooler closed down tight for days on end they'll hold the ice but that's not how we use them in the real world in the real world we open them up we close them we get drinks out so that's exactly what we did during this test. Each cooler was tested for 24 hours. It started with 16 pounds of ice, and then we weighed the ice at the end to see how much was retained. And we opened and closed the coolers six times throughout the course of those 24 hours. High temps were in the upper 80s, and the sun was blazing. It's time for the moment of truth. Let's find out how much ice is left in each. We clipped the bottom of the bags with a pair of scissors to drain out any water remaining and then weighed both bags in each cooler. Net results? As you can see, 24 hours later there was still quite a bit of ice in each cooler. Alright, let's see what we can learn after the fact here. Pulled the drain plug on all these coolers. The medic has a little bit of water in there, not a lot, pretty much drained out. You can see it has this kind of two-tier seal there. And, uh, yeah, they're looking pretty good here on the Yeti. This one drained out completely. I really like that because I hate it when you have to lift the cooler. And uh, it also has that similar kind of seal there. On the, on the angle here, this has a different kind of a seal. It's sort of a puffy one piece there. And uh, this guy pretty much drained. There's a tiny little bit in there, but not much. The otter, it's pretty well drained a little bit down there in the bottom not bad this one also has that round seal there and uh, the pelican now this one obviously did you know quite well for its size with the ice but it's got a lot of water in the bottom this is one you're gonna have to kind of lift up to get to fully drain and uh, this one also has that that double seal so what do we learn here well most of these coolers I mean these things did pretty darn good 24 hours in a blazing hot sun to still have anything in them makes them a super cooler and uh, one thing we need to note the sizes are similar but not identical it probably shouldn't be a shocker that the uh, the otter did a little better than the others on the ice simply because of the size if you look at it you know clearly it's not as large as the others I got the closest size as possible but every manufacturer sort of has a different range of sizes so it was impossible to get all identical. It just wasn't doable. They don't make them. All right, now for all the details, you really should read the whole article in Fish Talk Magazine, August edition, or see it at fishtalkmag.com. But we'll take a look at some of the features here. This pelican is the only one to have a fish ruler on top. You gotta like that, measure up your catch. Uh, it has these rigid handles. Right, whereas most of the others have the rubber ones. We have a drain down here, which is attached. It's got a little keeper, so hopefully you won't lose it. The Pelican is also, it's interesting, this is the only one that has latches like this, plastic latches right there. So they're firm, they seem pretty sturdy, but I do kind of wonder, you know, if maybe one day they're gonna give out their plastic. You have this hasp here, so you can lock this cooler shut too. Metal, right? It's the only one with metal there, so you can really keep that secure. Let's see here, the Otter. Clearly this one wins for artistic design, no question about that. Handles are rigid, right? They're just molded right into the side there. And these have very interesting latches on, on this cooler here. Check this out, you flip it down like that. And then to get it up, you do one of those. It's actually a little confusing sometimes. I've fumbled with these a couple times, been like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what happened? How does that work? But then you figure it out. They do kind of cinch down too. That's a rubbery, rubbery piece right there. So it does tension it on the, uh, on the gasket. And then down here, we also have a drain with a keeper. 
so that's good. Here's the angle. The angle does have a spot you can lock it here. Uh, not metal, but that's pretty thick plastic. Someone have to really work to get through that. Latches. So you got a, a combination of rubber and metal. And it locks on the other side too, if you like. So those are, you know, pretty fumble free. For handles, we have the, okay, now here, this is a little interesting. You got these little grabby molded in plastic. I'm not sure if I love that. Once it's in place, it's actually really good. But the first time I grabbed the cooler, I kind of picked it up like this. I was a little off and it wasn't quite right. Eh, I don't know, a little getting used to. The drain on this guy does not have a keeper. The drain does not have a keeper on the angle, so be careful not to lose that piece. Get that back in there good and tight. Okay, on the Yeti, again, you got the, the locking corners, right? But it's plastic, not metal. You have the pull-down rubberized types of handles there. They're pretty sturdy. You know, I think they'd be just fine for, you know, certainly years at a time. And uh, the handle, we got a, a kind of a rubberized rigid piece there. I, I like that. That Easy to figure out how to wrap your hand around that one. That's good one. Nice strong rope it's on there. So that's good for the handle. Down here, we have our drain. And again... Nothing keeps it in place, so don't lose that guy. That would be tragic. For the uh, latches on the Dometic, you got the pop-up rubber. Kind of pops back down. They're comfortable. They're easy to use. And then on the drain down here, this is, uh, this is another one where, you know, don't lose that drain plug because there's no keeper on there. And the uh, handles. I, this might be my favorite handle right here. Big, thick, grippy rubber thing. That, that triangular shape just really, I don't know, I find it very comfortable. You might find it different, you know, everyone's a little different. For ruggedness, we put the coolers to real world tests by jumping on them and running across them, dropping a 20 pound anchor on them, and whipping them with a one ounce jig head. All right, we definitely did more damage to the jig head than we did to any of the coolers. Every super cooler came through with flying colors. We were unable to damage them. In fact, dropping the anchor made a dent in the top of every cooler except the Otter. But by the next day, that dent had sort of reformed. The plastic filled back in the shape and it was completely gone. You, you could barely tell microscopic damage. Bottom line, Pelican, Otter, Engel, Yeti, and Dometic, we salute you. Uh, all these coolers are just hands down winners. Now, of course, you may find some of these features more or less to your liking, so shop around. The prices are relatively competitive, some are a little less expensive than others, but these coolers aren't cheap, so take your pick, people. They're all pretty darn awesome. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.